Hello, everyone, and welcome to a short lecture tonight. We're going to be talking about the upcoming teacher training course, the Fly and Seed teacher training course that's going to be held in Maui uh, here in the United States. That's going to be coming up next month. And many of you have called in asking for information about it. So I wanted to give you the information that we do have right now. And then next Sunday, I'll have a little more information for you as well. You can always call into the office, but uh, it's a safe bet for right now. What I'm telling you is everything that we know about this course. The course is going to be designed to give you an idea of what the flying seed is which you already know, but it's going to give you the history of it as well as advanced methods of using it and advanced treatments with the flying seed. Uh, it's going to be a course that involves a lot of treatments as well. Let's go through some of the, uh, if, some of the scheduled items for this course. Uh, if we're going to be talking about the Realm Lords and Spin Keys you remember those from the seeds of the flying seed. Uh, waxing full and waning, we'll be talking about uh, Master Teacher Tote and the science of numbers. And we'll talk about the primary wheels and secondary wheels. Many of you have seen on the website that there are secondary wheels associated with seeds, but I haven't told you anything about that. We're going to be covering that in this course. Uh, the relationship between numbers and spheres. Uh, past, present, and future. We'll be talking about the moon and the seed of inception. And then we'll, each of us will be doing inception seed treatments. Uh, you'll get two rounds of inception seed treatments. One of the courses, one of the topics for the course is going to be the seed of inception and profession. The seed of inception and your profession, past, present, and future. Then we'll also be talking about the Appalachian Seed and the Blossoms of Expression. And the Appalachian Seed is the one that deals with your name. It's your name seed. You're going to be receiving two rounds of Appalachian Seed treatments. And then we're going to be talking about the Biotrinity and the star cells of the Chamber of Eternal Light. Remember, one of the instructions for using the Flying Seed is placing the biotrinities on the star points on the chamber of eternal light. So we're going to be talking about that. Uh, Lantos said that one of the topics will be initial rotations as above, so below, and creating. Then we'll be talking about the mission seed selection and we'll be doing mission treatments. On Sunday, I read to you a message from Lantos talking about the great cosmic wind and how your mission seed, when it is selected at the Great Central Translator, it allows you to have great clarity in the selection of your mission seed. And the purpose of your mission seed is to get you in line with the great cosmic wind, to allow you to take advantage of the great cosmic wind so that you are not working against it, you're not on a cross current, but rather your life is going exactly where it should be going. And that's the purpose of the mission seed. And there is a mission seed treatment that we'll all be doing. Then, a little while ago, I told you about something that Lantos had said on harmonics. The idea that depending upon where you live, there will be locations where you will be supported, you will be successful, healthy, happy. Then there will be other locations on earth where your life is not going to be supported. You will not be happy and healthy. You will have much greater difficulty in succeeding. That is what Lantos talks about with harmonics. And we're going to be talking about harmonic navigation and harmonic compatibility. Now there's also going to be a test involved with this because it's going to involve certification. Lantos wants people who will be teaching the flying seed to be certified. And that means that we have to make sure that you know enough to be able to tell people about the flying seed. That's going to happen during this course. This course is going to be on July 12th, that's a Thursday, 
uh, through Saturday, July 14th. Now, in Hawaii, the way the flights work, we want to make it so that you can be there as little as possible, although for many of you, the thought of staying a few extra days in Maui probably isn't going to be too bad. But this is scheduled in such a way where you could do the entire course and just be gone from home for three days. So that means that you could leave in the morning on July 12th. You, most flights from the continental United States arrive in Hawaii uh, around noon or in the afternoon. And then you would, uh, the course starts in the evening on that day, the 12th. It'll go all day on the 13th, and then it will go in the first half of the 14th, but it will end in the afternoon. Flights returning from Hawaii to the continental United States usually leave at night. So that would allow you to still hop on a plane and get back home uh, so that you'd be back home on Sunday morning, uh, the 15th. That's going to be the schedule. The cost of the course is $1,450. Uh, you will need to stay at a hotel and we'll be able to help you out with that. We'll get a group rate at a hotel if you want to stay uh, with others, but you can also choose your own hotels. It is on the island of Maui, and so there won't be as many hotel options as if we were in Honolulu, but you do have plenty of good options there nonetheless. Okay, everyone, that is what we know right now about the upcoming course. I also know this there is a limited number of spaces. So if this is something that you are wanting to do, go ahead and call the office, uh, get your name on the list. Uh, we need to have a concrete number of the people who are attending so that we know when to close the class. We won't be able to accommodate more than a certain number of people. Uh, I'll keep you posted on that for next Sunday, how we're doing but it's possible that we'll have actually closed the class by Sunday. If this is something that you're interested in, call us. Uh, we'll be able to tell you if there's any space available for you. Okay, everyone, thanks for being with me for this very short lecture. We'll talk more about the flying seed on Sunday, and then next Monday we'll, we'll do a normal lecture. Okay, everyone, thank you very much.